Today we're going to go through an easy way to automate your sprinkler. To do this, you'll need a smart switch. I'm using the Sonoff switch. You will also need a 24 volt solenoid valve, or whichever voltage you wish to use. You can get these from your hardware store. To power the solenoid valve, you will also need a power supply that matches your valve. You can get these through eBay or any kind of electronic store. The power supply may come with an adapter to easily wire up the valve cables to your power supply. If this doesn't come with it, you can buy one of these separately online or at an electronic store. You will also need a dual hose connector and a tap connector. You can get both of these from a hardware store. I've decided to go with brass to make sure that the connectors don't leak or break. First of all, screw the tap thread reducer onto the valve, and I've already connected this. And this will usually come with the tap connector. Now screw the tap connector into it. Plug in the dual adapter, and then wire up the solenoid cables into the adapter that came with the power supply. You will then want to make this safe from water, and so I've used electrical tape to keep it dry. You can connect the adapter up to the power supply and plug the power supply into your smart switch. Before you take it outside, test out the smart switch to ensure everything is working and the solenoid valve works when you turn it off and on. When you turn on the switch, the solenoid valve should open. And then when you turn off the switch, the solenoid valve should close. If you've set up your switch in Hasio, you can test it there to ensure you can control the device as expected. Next, take it outside and plug up the valve to your tap. And then connect your sprinkler pipes up to the valve. I have my tap coming off my tank so that I can use rainwater to water my garden. Then plug the power cable into your adapter and the smart switch into a power point. I'm keeping the power inside a waterproof container, which is also inside my, my pump housing. You'll also want to waterproof your cable. I've used electrical tape again. Now turn on the water supply and hopefully everything should hold. Now you can turn on your sprinklers using the home assistant or your device of choice and the water will flow through to your sprinklers. So that's all it takes. Check out my site for the automation that I've set up which automatically turns off my sprinkler after 15 minutes. This is useful if you accidentally turn on or forget to turn off the sprinkler. Thanks for watching.